I was kind of like on and off in college, like through our CAPS program or whatever, mm -hmm. um, with like a whole bunch of different therapists who were always like, and they were overworked and mm -hmm. also just like didn't really have connections with them. And so kind of after that experience graduated and I was like, all right, you know what? Like mm -hmm. I am good, I'm done. Yeah. Um, and it was kind of my first, I guess, <laughs> yeah, I can give you an example. Mental health Monday. Mental health Monday. Mental health Monday. Mental health Monday. Drink. Mm -hmm. um, and that's why, I don't know, it's, it's always a weird part, especially, I don't know, as I'm like working with kids and, and teaching kids and trying to get kids. You <clears throat> can't tell somebody that they have to do it. Yeah. Yeah. But there are some people that really should fucking do it. There are. <laughs> there are. Okay. But so it's like, like it's just like you have to have that conversation with them, and and really it's like the amalgamation of many conversations of them seeing, like your habits of being that you're actually coming from a place of care. You have to lose to want to win. Yeah. You what do. do you mean? You do. Um, <clears throat> you mean most, we're just like whatever. Most, right? most, like, no, 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 no. Most like, most great athletes, or most stories of triumph have come from people realizing they didn't have enough. Mm. Whether it was the resources, mm -hmm. whether it was I didn't put the time I needed to to build my body up, yeah. whether it was we should have put more time towards the game plan and understanding who the enemy is mm. and what their weaknesses is was versus us thinking we're good enough, we got this when mm. we show up. Yeah. And that's, in general, that's how life is. And I don't like using too many athlete uh, examples, but, like, my life has been athletic. Education is metaphor also. Yeah. Like, well, I guess there is kind of, I, I think I felt some of that, too. Like, what kind of, why I got back in was... To therapy? Yeah, like, so you stumbling on my ass. Just like, nah, yeah, nah, I don't yeah need exactly, I'm good. right? I'm exactly. Good. And then, did life tell you that you weren't good, or... Eventually, yeah, I, things started to stack. And then <sighs> I was like... You gotta give me an example. Oh man! <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta. When was it? Even I if mean, it's like a general example. Yeah. So Cause, I guess cause I want people to recognize what stacking looks like. Yeah. So I mean, <clears throat> I definitely I was kind of like on and off in college, like through our caps program or whatever, mm -hmm. um, with like a whole bunch of different therapists who were always like, and they were overworked and. Mm -hmm also just like didn't really have connections with them and so kind of after that experience graduated and i was like all right you know what like mm -hmm. i am good i'm done yeah um and it was kind of my first i guess <laughs> yeah i can give you an example uh -huh. um yeah so i started like this like joint fellowship where i was like teaching and getting my master's at the same time mm -hmm. and i'm in this um insular one of like the richest private schools in the country mm -hmm. completely on campus yeah and up in new hampshire and like i like grew up around white people i grew up in new hampshire mm -hmm. it's not new mm -hmm. that stress of new place new job community that i don't quite have the socio-cultural capital necessary to navigate mm -hmm. a breakup uh the existential crisis of, oh man, now wait, I, like, I felt like I kind of just even like stumbled into this program. Like, and I'm glad, Did gave me a job, helped me get a master's. Like what? Lucky to be there. Yeah, definitely. And there was also like that imposter thing mm -hmm. going on too. Like, uh, like yeah. maybe, <laughs> who the hell let me into this function? Right? <laughs> maybe I, I should have put up a fight yeah, uh, kind of deal. No, I got you. You know? Yeah. Um, so <clears throat> I, it was like all these like things that like I would stress and almost even like cycle between like, be like, okay, like, I, like maladaptive avoidance is something that like I, I really do where I'm just like all right I'm just, not, I'm just not gonna think about this so like mm -hmm. this stress of like the new job uh, I'm just not gonna think about that and then I would just cycle to like obsessively kind of like running through mm -hmm. okay this is how I felt wronged or this is why this isn't right for me or this but you situation really is talking bad. to anybody about that you were just having no. inner conversations with yourself yeah completely yeah. and yeah and then I think I mentioned like a breakup from mm -hmm. college too mm -hmm. does and that then, develop something toxic in you oh yeah and it would it started <clears throat> to like come out in like a toxic way to either mm -hmm. like snapping at people yeah or just like being way too quick if somebody's like trying to throw hands and being like mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> hands I have. <laughs> right? 
Hands, Hands I will serve. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. Yeah. Um, or just like, I, I don't know, even in, even in like the classroom, just like being too quick to like, just not remember that sometimes these kids are like, they're 14. Yeah. They're 15. It's really hard mm -hmm. to be like 15 years yeah. old, right? And so just expecting them, I, I don't know, I would even catch myself like being short with with like students for uh, no reason yeah right and then yeah. finally i guess there was kind of like the somatic connection too like i got shingles mm -hmm. and then like as that all this stuff like is stacking up right yeah and i'm like in the doctor and they're like okay well you're way too stressed because mm -hmm. this and they're looking at the case and like my medical history and they're like none of this makes sense mm -hmm. And you know they. I'm sure they use more doctorly diction, but yeah. like, unless you're a goddamn mess right now, mm -hmm. like that's the only thing that really makes this wild case of shingles mm -hmm. make sense. Mm -hmm. um, so you stressed your way into shingles. Yeah, which is a thing. You gotta explain that to me. I mean, I don't know like the bio. 